Chapter 4, Objectives. We will concentrate on four key points. The first is how to recognize unsafe ground and site conditions and what to do if a customer requires the truck mixer to operate in those conditions. Second, safe unloading procedures and how to prevent injuries to customers and other personnel during the unloading process. Third, identify safety precautions required when placing concrete via concrete pumps, crane buckets, curb machines, and other specialized equipment. And finally, identify hazards of power line contact and the steps to take if contact occurs. Working around customer equipment. Customers can use many types of equipment and methods to unload the truck mixer. Most of these methods involve machinery that can create additional safety hazards. The CDP must be familiar with the equipment used to unload the truck mixer and how to work safely around them. Wear the appropriate PPE around customer equipment, especially hard hats and safety glasses. Be alert for any potential hazard to the CDP or the customer. Be aware of where customer personnel are on the site when maneuvering. Avoid conveyor rollers or any other moving parts that can catch clothing or body parts. When unloading to a crane or bucket, always be aware of the bucket position at all times. Always use a spotter to direct the movement of the truck mixer when placing into a curb and slip form machines or concrete pumps. Power line contact. Be aware of any overhead electric lines near the boom of a concrete pump, crane, or conveyor. If the equipment contacts a live electric line, electricity can and will flow through the concrete and metal. The water in the concrete conducts the electricity. If the equipment becomes energized, the entire truck mixer can become energized too. When working around overhead concrete placing equipment that is near overhead wires, the CDP should keep a sharp lookout in case of overhead wire contact. Congratulations, you've just finished the last chapter in the Concrete Delivery Professional Certification Program on Safety in the Workplace. As before, we will conclude the chapter by reviewing some key ideas by answering four questions. If you need help with the answers, please refer to your slides or workbook. Question one, the CDP should always have a blank back the truck mixer in, even if he or she has delivered there before. Question one answer, the CDP should always have a spotter back the truck mixer in, even if he or she has delivered there before. Question two, a truck mixer should always be operated at blank blank to any trench or excavation. Question two, answer. A truck mixer should always be operated at right angles to any trench or excavation. Question three, the first thing the CDP should do if the truck mixer gets stuck on the job site is to make sure that the truck is blank. Question three, answer. The first thing the CDP should do if the truck mixer gets stuck on the job site is to make sure the truck is stable. Question four, if a concrete pump boom comes into contact with a power line, electricity can flow through the concrete and blank the truck mixer. Question four, answer. If a concrete pump boom comes into contact with the power line, electricity can flow through the concrete and energize the truck mixer. This is the conclusion of our safety unit. The certification quiz follows online. Please review all material before starting the exam. There are extra review questions to help too. Click on those if you'd like some extra help. Remember, you cannot stop the exam once you start and you will receive your pass-fail score immediately following the exam. Once you complete the Module 4 exam, 
you can move on to Module 5. It is about the operations of a truck mixer, including the proper way to conduct a pre-trip and post-trip truck check.